seconds old after the Grizzlies game two win without John Morant. The two exchanged words in the third with Brooks saying James called him dumb for having picked up his fourth foul after the Memphis series tying win. One that came with John Moran on the sideline with a hand injury. Brooks critiqued the Lakers star saying he's not at the same level he was when he was on Cleveland winning championships. Here's more. You and LeBron have that exchange. There are people out there that say maybe maybe you shouldn't do that with one of the better players in the game. What, I guess what, what were you thinking? I don't that care. Moment? He's old. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, I was waiting for that. I poke bears. Um... I don't respect no one until they come and give me 40. Mm. He's old. Pokes bears. Yeah. Stephen A. Hi, yep. Wendy. What does LeBron need to do about Brooks? He need to bust his ass. That's what he need to do. Say it again. Uh, that, that said, I said that start off the show saying that. I'm saying that again. Now, I'm not talking. I don't want Wendy getting a bit technical here. I'm not talking about LeBron James deviating from the game, from the game plan, what it takes to win. I understand that the priority is to win. I get that. Don't have your selfish motives usurping that of the team and the ultimate agenda. But as long as the ultimate agenda and the team is put first, then first, there's nothing wrong with squeezing in a little selfishness to take those moments when available to you. The bus is living you know what. And let me say this. I'm not, if Dylan Brooks, if you're listening, I'm not saying anything is wrong with what he's doing. I have no problem with what Dylan Brooks is doing. I love it. I mean, it makes the competition that more that more fervent. I love it. I'm more excited about it. I want, because it makes me want to see what LeBron James is going to do about that because he has the ability to do it. Now, if let's say, for example, Wendy, if Dylan Brooks, hypothetically, of course, let's say, for example, he said this about somebody like a, a Russell Westbrook or somebody like that. Well, you know, considering how, how much fire is in that dude's belly, but also how many times you question some of the decisions that he may make on the court, at least before he became a Clipper, because I think he's been great as a Clipper. The fact of the matter is that might be give you cause to pause. Say, wait a minute. Don't go too far. We got to reel that in. We got to make sure we're, 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 we're aligned with what we need to do. This is LeBron James we're talking about, bro. This is LeBron James. And even though I absolutely love what Dylan Brooks is doing because I love that kind of competition, what I love even more is the thought of what LeBron is going to do about it. Because in the game of basketball, not for an entire 48 minutes like that, but there are moments when you have an opportunity to showcase your skills against another, to sit up there mind in mind and be like, yo, let me, let me remind you of who the hell I am. And I definitely think that LeBron James should do that on a few occasions, game three. Wendy, I was listening to uh, the et cetera's with Kevin Durant, and one of the things that always bothers KD is about the, the legacy thing, right? He's like, why does everything always come to legacy? And then I hear my man Stephen A. talk about moments like this. Now, I'm on record stating that I think LeBron James is the greatest player of all time. I know Stephen A. disagrees. You may disagree or agree. I don't know. Honestly, I don't care. But these are the type of moments that we all know as players or people who have been around players that you yearn for. This is basketball. Stripe away, strip away NBA, college. This is just straight up basketball talk. We've all been in the gym where there's been that one person that all they do is wah, 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 wah. They're going to keep wanting regardless of whether they win or lose games. So I know that we talked about this and say, don't fall for the trap. And I'm not saying, no, it's not a trap. It's an opportunity. This guy has a chance to awaken a giant. And we've seen the giant awaken himself before. And I'm not saying that needs to come through in a 50-point game. But it sure as hell can come through in a 38, 16, and 15 triple-double performance. It can come through in, oh, I'm going to guard you, and I'm going to lock you up. It can come through in his energy and his effort. The one thing that we questioned last night about the Lakers, more so than AD's performance, more so than D'Lo missing shots, more so than, you know, LeBron James talking trash back to Dylan Brooks, is the effort. 
from the Los Angeles Lakers, right? The effort coming from the 38-year-old guy or Anthony Davis who's been the league. So my thing is that could be seen in the effort that LeBron James could put forth in game three back at home by making a statement to Dylan Brooks that, yeah, I'm going to give it to you every which way you want it. Defensively, passing, rebounding, and scoring. Because I'm the complete package, and there's nothing you can do realistic, realistically in your little brain that you have, Dylan Brooks. I'm just talking if it's from LeBron James. There's nothing you will be able to do to stop me because I'm the complete package. That's how LeBron James proves that he is everything that he knows he is on the court. Guys, next fall, Dylan Brooks is going to come speak at Harvard Business School. And he's going to put clips from this show up on the screen to show to the students. Stephen A., when he wore those white glasses and that plaid coat with no shirt on, with that big chain, he wore it for you. The only thing is the next time he's going to ask our, our Tim McMahon, who shot the video, maybe to move over a little bit to get a better angle. Because this is a total play to try to get LeBron out of his game. And you, you guys are, are challenging LeBron to go with it. The way that the Grizzlies win this series, especially with John Morant compromised, is by LeBron shooting and Anthony Davis taking a smaller role. Last night, it was, it was Anthony Davis. And, it, and Stephen A., you are right. When you say the reason LeBron took more, nine more shots than AD was because LeBron realized the only way they were going to win that game is if he was going to take <coughs> it over because it was a bad AD night. But the way that the Lakers lose this series is by letting LeBron try to go for 40 and not AD going for 40. The guy who should be going for 40 is AD. And it's going to be the game plan from now for the foreseeable future. Because if the Lakers get out of this series, and it's still a big if to me, and they play the Kings especially, we'll see what happens. AD's got to kick butt in that series too. This is The, the Lakers are going to go as far as AD can take them. And Dylan Brooks knows that. And, you know, I, I firmly believe that LeBron is sm too smart to get stuck in this. But I will say this. LeBron did start barking at him a little bit last night during the game. He did start going at him, and Dylan Brooks knows it. That's his game. Dylan Brooks can't win against LeBron head-to-head -head in talent. LeBron well, is vastly more talented than him. He's vastly bigger than him. He can only win if he plays this mind game, and he's playing it right now. Well, if he plays the mind game, he can only win if it doesn't work because LeBron is Thank missing you. shots and not busting as you know what. I'm not counting on LeBron missing shots. I'm saying make them. And I'm not talking about two, three-pointers either. You take this boy to point. I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you. I'm more talented than you. Inside, outside. I'm going to lay it in on you. I'm going to shoot a three on you. I'm going to go to the free throw line of you. I might foul you out of the damn game. I'm going to do whatever it takes to abuse you and show you. Excuse me. You wanted to tug on the cape. Here I am. I'm not saying that you sacrifice a victory because of it. I'm not saying that you ignore Anthony Davis because of it. He ain't going to ignore Anthony Davis. You know that, Wendy. When has LeBron ignored Anthony Davis? Only on one occasion. And you know when that one occasion is? When Anthony Davis looked like he's sleepwalking. That's it. That's the only time that LeBron ignores Anthony Davis. If Anthony Davis is on the court and active, LeBron finds him. And so does everybody else. We understand that. But that does not mean that you don't sit up there and look at a person inside the Crypto.com arena, packed house, Southern California, La La, Tinto Town. You don't use that as an opportunity to bust his ass. That's what you got to do. And I think that he needs to do that in game three and get it out the way just to let him know. Just flex like, yo, <laughs> mind your manners. And that way when he's chirping and chirping, Everybody understands. We understand already, but you make sure to emphatically send that message. There's levels to this, and you Dylan ain't Brooks on it. Just There's ordered nothing champagne wrong with doing that in basketball. But, but Wendy, why do we think? Why do we think somebody barking back is going to take him out of his game? <laughs> like, do we do we think that little of LeBron James? Do we think if LeBron James engages in talking no, trash back and being aggressive, that that will take or diminish the value? Like, I, 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 I beg to differ. I think it enhances LeBron James's game. Like, I, I think the world wants to see LeBron be more of the villain-type player that he was in that little aspect of when he was in Miami than the guy who's just going to come out and let me just get everybody involved. You want to see him attack right from the beginning. I think that's what you're going to get game three. All right.
That's what Dylan Brooks wants. He thinks okay. he wants it. He thinks he, he wants it. He thinks he wants it. I think I want a lot of he things until I get it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 